All right, YouTube and Pizzy back with another coin roll hunt video. I'm going to uh, hunt these 15 $1 bills live. Uh, I got a couple rolls of uncirculated pennies. These rolls of nickels, I'll open them live. I'm not quite sure if they're uncirculated or not, but uh, let's get into it. I'm looking for a unique serial number or anything past uh, older than 1999. Nothing there. Nothing there. 3371 1994 0. Not quite a uh, birthday note there. <laughs> 60295. I've seen these ones with like one one of the numbers printed darker. You can see how that number two is double printed. I don't know if that means anything or if those are worth anything. Anyone knows, just let me know in the comments. Other than that, nothing special, but I'll set that one aside. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And eh, nothing there. Eight, two, five. Nothing. Ah. <laughs> Six, two, three, three. Nothing there. Nine nine two nine nine mini radar, but eh, only five digits. New, it's not in very good shape. I probably won't save that one, it'll get spent. Nothing there, and nothing there. So that's how it goes. Let's get right into these rolls and try and crack them one handed here. So show them coming out on camera here. There we go. All right, so obviously with the cents, I'm looking for anything foreign, uh, copper, of course. Hunt these live. That's an 82, so it's a crossover year. Another 82. Kind of a weak roll so far. Let's see if it heats up. <laughs> Mostly 82s. I don't even have a scale, so I couldn't even tell you if those 82s are copper or not. There's a nicely toned red 81, so that's only one guaranteed copper out of the roll. Not the strongest roll. Oh, we got more copper at least. Looked like a 64. Nothing, nothing. No. What do we got here? 69 with some red toning nothing crazy special but it is a copper penny that i always save got a big bunch of jars of them never know if the price of copper will spike so here's some live coin roll hunting and you know you can see that it's not always a big score pretty weak roll but we got one two three four five six couple of them are 1982s, so we don't even know if they're copper or not. Okay, let's see here. Oh, amateur hour here. I'm going to set the phone. Set this down. Amateur hour, amateur hour. Just crack it. Hunt them live is what it is. Bear with me. I'll have the camera back up right quick as soon as they're opened up. Maybe I'll even learn how to edit this part out, but all right, here it is. And there they are. Let's see if we got some copper. It's hard to tell, but it is copper. You can pretty much tell if they're copper just by looking at them and checking out the color. There's a 75. There's an 80. This roll, we're off to a slightly better start. Nope. Clad. I think these 83 and newer ones, I think they're a zinc alloy of sorts. The older ones seem to have a deeper, better strike about them as well. So these are a couple pretty weak rolls of scents. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. I think the best roll I ever hunted, I found three wheat scents. And 
we got copper there so that was pretty weak usually i'd hope for around at least eight or nine coppers per roll but all we ended up was with was that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten coppers all right let's get into these uh nickels here and see if they're actually uncirculated try to open them live on camera here here we go and these are <laughs> well not much to hunt there so there you go youtube pretty weak <laughs> weak round of hunting these are all brand new from the mint 2020 2022 denver's so this one i'll probably just keep i know they're 2022 denver's so i'll just uh throw it in the stash maybe many years from now it'll be worth some anyways thanks for watching